Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. So glad that you're here. We're doing one of my favorite videos ever to film for you, which is a Costco haul. If you guys are not familiar with my channel, I have tons of Costco hauls up. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and he's showing you what he got. We just walked into Costco and they had um, high chews that were like the little candy high chews um, for a sample. I was like, of course you can have one. We don't really usually keep this kind of stuff in our house, but when at Costco, we get to do the fun stuff. We have a big list today. I have tons of meals that we are eating this week. So I will be sure to share those with you throughout the videos. So make sure you're staying tuned. We've been walking around grabbing all the samples. He's eating one right now. He's eating the Jojo's chocolate, which I'll show you guys that later. He seems to like it though. He hasn't spit it out, but I saw this Oster, Oster, how do you say that? French door toaster oven with air fry. And I have yet to see one of the air fryers in person that look like this with the doors like this. You could fit so much more in here than you can in like my little air fryer that I show you guys all the time on my Instagram. So if you're looking for something that just stays out on your counter, that would be a really fun Christmas gift. I'm getting distracted by all the fun things. These are keto glazed pecans. They're in the kind sweet cinnamon. Look how cool these are. They look super good. The ingredients do contain milk. So you can see those right there, but those look like they would be fun, especially if you put them in like your own little holiday trail mix. They are $13.99 for a bag of them. Or I also saw these nuts over here and I was like, okay, this is fun too. Honey roasted macadamia nuts from Hawaii. They're the Kirkland brand. $13.99, you get just a pound of these guys, but it's macadamia nuts, sugar, honey, and sea salt. I feel like in a trail mix, that would also be fabulous or even just on its own. These must just be here for the holidays because I have not seen these before, but these are praline pecans. Those look good too. Definitely like a holiday type of treat. You could put these in instead of like chocolate into a trail mix or just eat them by themselves. It does contain milk, $12.89 for two and a half pounds. That's not too bad. We're moving and we're grooving. Yes, we are. How are you looking at me? So we are making some Hawaiian pineapple chicken in the crock pot this week, which I will have a crock pot video coming out for you guys very soon. But I have a couple of other recipes as well that are going to be needing pineapple chunks. So they have a can or a can, they have a case of eight cans here. So we're gonna grab a case of these guys. It's eight of them for $9.99. I checked, there's no added sugar or anything. It's 100% pineapple juice in there. It just saves me from having to cut up a pineapple and it call, like one of the recipes actually calls for the juice from the can. So we're just gonna grab some of these and they'll be kind of fun to eat too as we get into winter and like some of the fruit is, you know, not in season. We're gonna grab another bag of this organic dried pineapple. We've been making our own trail mix lately, hence why when I was telling you about all the nuts, I was telling you about making your own trail mix and I've been showing them on my Instagram, but this is always my favorite part of the trail mix and they're going away, which is what this little asterisk means. So I'm just gonna grab one, even though we have plenty at home, but this will stay good in our food storage for a while. Look at this fun little treat. These are the Cookie Thins Thinsters. They're dark chocolate and they have like, okay, so they're a coconut cookie, but they have a dark chocolate bottom is what I was trying to say. Anyways, not allergy friendly in the slightest, but they do look like a fun little treat. You can pack those in your kiddos lunches or something like that. And it's a nice thin cookie, $8.99 for 18 ounces of it. Oh, better than beef bouillon. I just need you. The flavor that comes from this is like none other. You can't even get it in just a stock. So $5.99 for this guy, well worth it. You cannot find this any cheaper in the store. Like this big old thing in the store, if you can even find it this size, would be at least like $12. One of our meals this week is grilled cheese and tomato soup. I don't know if any of you guys grew up on that, but I grew up on that. Like the canned stuff that would just come out in one solid form. This would be a way better option for you. This organic red, roasted red pepper and tomato soup by Pacific foods. It comes with six of the cartons for $12.50 and I would definitely get this except it contains milk. So I'm not going to since I stay away from dairy 100%, but it sounds like it would be pretty good. All of the Pacific foods things that we've tried like soup wise have been fairly good and they're usually a better option. A tip for keeping your kids busy in the store is lots of food. Costco is great because it gives out samples, but I cut up an apple before we left, huh? Yeah. You got an apple? Baffle. Baffle. Mm -hmm. Gonna grab some of Derek's favorite salsa. He goes through at least one of these a week. So we usually grab it every time we're here, but this is just the medium organic salsa. It's their Kirkland brand. It's shelf stable, so you can keep it in your food storage. $7.79, it's like a great price and he loves it. 
He goes back to this every time. We're making white chicken chili this week, which of course calls for green chilies. And then I have a couple of other things that also call for green chilies, but I'm going to grab this massive thing of flame roasted green chilies. Usually this is used as like a salsa, or you could even heat this up with like some shredded cheese on top and dip tortilla chips in it. It's really good that way too. $7.89 for 40 ounces though. And I just keep this in my fridge and use it. I don't know. It says enjoy within three weeks after opening. And I kept one in there for like a year, which is not good, but I didn't see the warning until then. Anyways, I used it in soups and stews and stuff and it saves a bunch of money because you get those little cans for like a dollar fifty of green chilies. $7.89 for a massive thing of it. Not on the list, but they should have been because apparently my guys ate them all. So Spanish Queen olives, it comes in a big two pack for $13.89. You guys, these are massive jars, larger than my hand. You can't find these cheaper in the regular store. So I always grab them here. The boys swear by them. They say they like them better than other brands at the store. So that's my two cents for you. We use it on like tacos, pizza, pretty much anything. Oh, we are needing more milk because I've been eating so many berry freezes. I also use this to cook. We love the macadamia nut milk. The only thing I don't like about this one is that it has natural flavors included, but honestly, I can't find it for a better price and we just go through it a little bit too fast. The almond milk here is pretty good too, this Kirkland one, but I just like the flavor and like the overall, oh, that box was really dirty. Not so thinness of the milk. Like the almond milk seems to be really super thin, almost like water. We need some maple syrup, so I'm gonna grab some of this guy. Sits well in our food storage for whenever I need it. I just have like the littlest bit left, and I usually use this for baking. $11.99 though for organic maple syrup. It's a huge thing of it. You can't find it anywhere cheaper. Oh, and now I have another baby in my hand, but oh. What are you telling her? Can you tell her again? He's saying nine night. Sweet boy, you're so sweet. Never in my life have I seen Costco carry a one-to-one -one gluten free flour. Oh my gosh, I might just get it just to try it out. $13.89 for six pounds of it. That's a really great deal. Yeah, I think we're gonna grab some of this. I do quite a bit of baking and I have some one-to-one -one flour on hand, but I have never seen them carry gluten-free flour. So anyways, we also need some almond flour, $10.99 for three pounds. We're making some pumpkin thumbprint cookies. I'll try and share them over on my Instagram and I'm hoping they're gonna be so amazingly good. Are you leading me? Tell me where to go. <laughs> I've got a little monkey over here, but we eat salsa every week because we eat tacos and taco bowls every week. This is one of my favorite ones because it's still like price conscious, $6.49, but it's massive, right? And it's good. It says it's medium. I always say it's more mild, but we love this stuff. Please tell me what you're telling me. Walk, walk, walk. All right, let's go. <laughs> we grabbed some of this queso blanco cashew dip last time from the Blue Moose. And I told you guys I'd let you know how we liked it. And we loved it. If I wanted it to be like pourable, like I would pour it on top of nachos or something, I would just put a little bit of this in a dish with like a tablespoon or two of water just to your liking. Mix it up and throw it in the microwave for like 30 seconds and it was perfect. I was gonna grab avocados this week, but I decided to just go ahead with these guys, the little single cups. I'm the only one who likes avocado in the family, so these ones are perfect for me. But if you have a family of avocado lovers, definitely go for like a bigger one, so we're wasting a lot less plastic. But these you can freeze, which I love. My avocados have been going bad way too fast on me, so I'm gonna grab some of these, freeze about half of them, keep about half of them in the fridge. Love that it's literally just avocado and sea salt. $12.79 for 16 of them. Nice. Favorite view. Ooh, they have this on sale. The Kev everything we've tried from Kevin's has been amazing. This is lemongrass chicken. I don't like love lemongrass stuff, so I'm gonna skip, but it is on sale right now. This stuff literally takes five minutes. Throw it over some rice and it's perfect and ready to go. Precious little sleeping baby in there. I'm walking by and they have all of their stuff for like Thanksgiving out already. You guys are seeing this after Halloween, but it's not even Halloween yet but they have this Kevin's turkey gravy here. I'm like, how long does this stay good? Because this would take a lot off my plate to have to make gravy, but I wonder if it contains milk. Most gravy contains milk, so I'm gonna try. I was right, it contains milk, which is such a bummer, but if you're just looking for something that has better ingredients than like the canned stuff, this is still a great option for you. $8.99 and you get two of them. As far as Thanksgiving options go, they have this cornbread cranberry stuffing with turkey Italian sausage. Sounds fabulous to me. It is not in the slightest like allergy friendly for us, but it's by Vicky's Kitchen, 11.29. And 
you get, what is it? It's just like, it's fully cooked. It's a side dish. So, okay, that looks awesome. But I love stuffing at Thanksgiving. It's like my favorite thing to eat that or like rolls. They also have roast turkey breast with sausage corn. Okay, so basically they have the turkey breast with this stuffing inside too. So you can do that as well for $5.99 a pound. Um, this is a fun find. Amy Lou cranberry and jalapeno chicken meatballs. Totally allergy friendly, no milk, no gluten nothing like that, no egg. They're fully cooked chicken meatballs. The Amy Lou stuff that we've tried has all been fabulous, so I'm grabbing one. $14.59, it's a little bit pricey. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> but you can freeze it. I don't know why cranberry, cranberry and jalapeno sounds so good, but we're gonna try it. But it would be perfect over these mashed potatoes. These ones are not allergy friendly, but if you don't have allergies, these are the best mashed potatoes I've ever tried, even compared to homemade. These take the cake. They are by Main Street. They're the Yukon Gold mashed potatoes. You just heat them in the microwave and go. $7.99 and you get two of them in there. I literally grew up on this stuff, but take some mashed potatoes and throw those on top of it. So good. So many chicken recipes this week. Oh, don't touch <laughs> because I'm doing a bunch of crock pot meals for you guys. So I need at least one of these. It's a three pack of organic chicken breast. So I grab one of those always. We're gonna grab two of the ground turkey as well for like chili, tacos, taco bowls and spaghetti with meat sauce. But then we also went ahead and grabbed some of these um, chicken thighs right here, all organic. You ready, buddy? Hang on to the cart, let's go. Cause we are making some honey sesame chicken in the crock pot and it calls for chicken thighs, which is like totally out of my comfort stage because I usually use chicken breast. <laughs> what are you laughing about? We just grabbed some green grapes. We're also gonna grab some of these cuties right here. These guys are some of our favorite fruits. They go great in fruit salads, but they're also just great on their own and an easy snack for me to just run and grab as we're going out the door. $8.99 for five pounds. We're gonna grab some of this parchment paper right here. This is something I love to keep in my food storage because I cook with it almost every day. I should just go for the easier stuff. Why, why is it human nature to always try and grab the stuff that's like right below? $10.49 and you get two of them of like the most massive rolls of parchment paper that I've ever seen in my life. Also, I know we're talking about a pumpkin shortage, but I haven't seen that so far because I see pumpkin right here, $6.89 and you get three of them. So if you're making a bunch of pumpkin stuff, this might be what you're wanting to go for. This is pump, like pure pumpkin, not like the pumpkin pie mix. Just grab some cucumber. I love dicing this up for salads, but also if you're needing a snack, cut them up into sticks like you would see carrot sticks. It gives you something just a little bit different to snack on than just the rounds, like how we usually cut them. Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go, silly? <laughs> he said, I'm ready to go. We're also gonna grab some of these peppers over here. They have the sweet mini peppers, which Logan loves snacking on. Those are also fabulous. But we're gonna go for, what are these? Sweet pointed peppers. I've never seen that before. We're going for bell peppers. Grabbing some strawberries. These ones happen to be organic. I do try to do organic when we have berries, but sometimes the options just either aren't available or they're not the best. For strawberries, they're looking fine today, but I think blueberries, we're gonna end up going for non-organic. They also have raspberries here though, which Logan loves and I love too. These as a topping in your berry freeze or smoothie bowls or anything, so good. I am making beef and broccoli. So my two choices are these beef chuck short ribs or I can do the beef chuck pot roast. And then I would just freeze whatever else is left. And I feel like I don't know which choice to make, but I think I'm gonna go with the pot roast so I can make a pot roast later on. I would, I think I'd rather do these, but they're way more expensive. $41 for, let's see, 2.5 pounds, five pounds for 44. So I think these guys are the winner. Our cart is starting to get full here, you guys. We have so many veggies going on, which I am so excited about. I just put my meat under there because one of you guys commented several times ago saying that you should never put heavy things on top of your meat. It forces the blood out and then I guess it goes bad faster. So. What we grabbed while we were in the cold section though, it was getting too cold, so I had to rush. Some spring mix, we got some mushrooms, we grabbed broccoli and butternut squash. We grabbed two things of these zucchinis and squashes because I've been eating like three a day. A thing of raspberries, two things of blackberries, two things of blueberries. Mm. Hang on, sissy. Mm. A thing of asparagus, and then was that it in the cold section? That might have been it. I know we grabbed strawberries somewhere in here too. We grabbed some of this stuff last time, but it's the Forager Probiotic Cashew Milk Strawberry Yogurt, and it's pourable. It's dairy-free. It's so stinking good. $7.79, you get two of them. We're definitely grabbing this again. We went through it so fast. 
trying to share these quickly because there's a forklift on the other end. I think they're trying to block us out of the aisle, but you guys, they have Mrs. Fields place and bake cookies right now. It's a variety pack. It comes with white chocolate macadamia nut, semi-sweet chocolate, and I can't see the other one. I think it's like an M&M one. Oh, a snowflake chip. And then what else does it say? Why did they make it so hard to read? And a sugar cookie. Look, someone undid it over here. Anyways, you get 12 of each flavor for $8.79. That would be so good. So I just grabbed a big box of tofu. This has been our favorite. You guys informed me that I can actually freeze this. It just comes out more firm, which is fine with me because I like my tofu firm. And then I'm gonna grab this organic cauliflower stir fry rice. This is what I've been doing for lunches a lot lately if I don't have leftovers that I wanna eat. I do a packet of this. It comes with four packs in there. And then I do some like scrambled tofu or I'll do tofu pieces. You want me to hold that? Got it. Anyways, $8.99 for four of them. Well worth it. It's so good. It's gluten-free and vegan. Obviously, I can't leave here without my favorite organic blueberries. For some reason, the Kirkland brand is just better than even like store-bought, like Kroger. I don't know what it is about these ones. They're just beyond better. So I'm going to grab two bags of these. You get three pounds for $7.79. And I use these in my berry free. So I just pour these into a bowl and then pour some milk on top with whatever toppings I want. And it's like the perfect little snack. Um, okay. Let's grab two of these. Also, if they have dark cherries, which they do not hear at mine, they're like slacking on the fruit section, grab some of those too and add them in. It's my favorite. Like always, the last thing we're gonna get is diapers, but before I stack it on top of this massive cart here, yeah. I wanna do a final cart with you guys. Yes, yeah. what you see hanging yeah. on the side is apple cider. Down here we have two yeah. bags of organic frozen blueberries and we have a bag of our cauliflower rice. We've got some macadamia nut milk right there and some tofu. I love pairing these two together for lunch, which is perfect. Under here we have some pineapple chunks, which is different for us. Also some salsa and some green chilies right there. We also have gluten-free one-to-one baking flour. I am so excited about this, especially since it's organic and like price conscious too. Hi, can you sit down real quick? I'm almost done, baby. We also have some grapes and some cuties, which I'm pretty sure is just a brand name. I think they're just clementines. We also have some of the Forager strawberry cashew milk pourable yogurt. We grabbed some spring mix, two things of blueberries. Hey buddy, you're silly. Two things of blackberries, a thing of raspberries. We've got broccoli, butternut squash, two of these massive bags of yellow squash and zucchini mixed together. Hello. Are you smiling at me? We have some asparagus, some... What we got, Tyler? Eat, mama! You gonna sit? <laughs> we have some beef bouillon, two things of bananas as well. We love putting those in smoothies or on berry freezes. We got some mushrooms, some cucumbers down there, avocado little cups right here, some parchment paper. We grabbed some apples as well, because we love apples. Always go through so many apples in a week. Strawberries. We also grabbed some almond flour and some dried pineapple back here. One thing of chicken breast, one thing of chicken thighs, and two things of ground turkey down there. Can you say, almost done? This crazy guy, are you ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Let's go home to Dada. Anyways, that's the extent of our Costco trip. We're gonna go see how much this is and you guys already know by the title of the video. We'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you subscribe down below before you go. Let us know your Costco favorite so we can shop off of your list and we'll see you next time. Can you say bye? Can you say, oh, the diapies? Oh yes, we have to grab diapers. I almost forgot. <laughs> Thank you, sissy diapies. All right, can you say bye? Say bye. If you made it to the end, you get to see our last minute edition. I got to finally try this because I was breaking my fast right as we're walking out. So good, we're grabbing something.